What is going on? Trainer Tom Lazoric here, and I just wanted to cut the bullshit on abdominal training. Now, when it comes to abdominal training, there tend to be two schools of thought. There is the school of thought that I'm just going to get down on the ground and do a bunch of random floor core exercises and hope for the best. And then there's the school of thought where training your abs in general is a waste of time. When it comes to revealing the abs, all that matters is your body fat percentage, and the way your abs look is determined by genetics, and you get enough core activation by doing various compound movements in the gym. Now, I don't fall into either school of thought, but I do agree with aspects of both schools of thought. With the first school, I, I agree you should be training your abs, just not like that. And then with the second school of thought, I do agree that body fat and genetics play a major role. But the role of body fat and genetics also apply to all of our other muscles. Like, our, our muscle insertions are going to be dependent on our genetics. And, you know, if you have kind of poor uh, muscle insertions for your chest, does that mean you shouldn't train your chest? I don't think many people would argue that. And then in regards to the body fat, same thing. If I had a higher body fat, you wouldn't be able to see my chest as well. I am of the mind that you should train your abs, but you should train them intelligently. And I like to think that I have... Uh, you know, a pretty uh, a decent pair of abdominals, so um, maybe a little bit credible in regards to this. But just like with any muscle, if you want to build it, you need to progressive overload it in some way. Now, what is progressive overload? It's not just loading up the weight and progressing in that over time. It's also, you, know, you, can, you can vary your tempo, vary your reps, that kind of thing. There's, there's more ways to progressive overload than just one way. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to get to what the two exercises are that I think are the best way to just get the most bang for your buck in regards to the rectus abdominis. Okay, so bear with me here. We're getting down, we're getting funky. So, first one, we are using a weight. Now, you don't need to use a weight, at least when you're starting off and getting used to the movement, but ultimately, you're probably going to want to use weight so you can better progressive overload. But again, you can also vary your tempo and vary the reps, so you don't have to just rely on the weight aspect. But make sure your feet are fastened in in some way. Now, with a regular sit-up, obviously, you're going up, ha, 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 wee. You know, you're going to get pretty good at that pretty quickly. But at a weight, keep the arms stretched and straight the whole time. And then do the sit-up and squeeze it forward into the air. And then come back down. Allow the arms to come back. And that should give the abs a nice stretch. And then you repeat. Ooh, golly gee. Now, I call these a super sit-up. Patent pending. Oh. So that's one. The other one is a little bit harder to progressive overload in terms of the weight. But you can incorporate, like, you know, you can have somebody resist you on this one. Or you can incorporate ankle weights. Something like that but it's a little more traditional. I didn't create this one. And to be honest, I don't know if I created the other one either, but I like to think I did. This is just standard leg raise. Now, why I like doing both of these together is that the first one, it does really hit pretty much the entirety of your abdominals, but it's a little bit more focused to the top portion of your abs. But doing the leg raises is a little bit more focused to the lower portion of your rectus abdominis. Okay, so doing these together, I think is the best way to get the most out of your ab training, at least in regards to hypertrophy. So, hope you found this video helpful, a quick one, but again, hope you found it very helpful, and don't got much else to say, uh, leave me a like, a comment, all that good schneist on the video, do all the clicking stuff on the YouTube, and I wish you all health and happiness, and I really do mean that. But yeah, good day, good night, whatever it may be for you. Wow! Bye-bye!